Hello everyone, welcome to Edutemi. Today we would be dealing with the basics of ethics. To understand the basics of ethics, it is important to understand certain key terms like belief, the values, what do we mean by behavior, what is attitude, and finally, what is ethics and morale? What is the difference between them? What is the relationship between them? Are they mutually coexisting or they are conflicting with each other? So these are the important terms that you need to understand before you actually understand ethics. These terms are abstract in nature. That is, they lack any form. There is no one particular form which actually define these terms. These are subjective in nature. When we say they are subjective in nature, that means they vary from one subject to other subject. They are not always based on rationality. They are not always based on logic, reasoning. They are based on the thought process which are actually in our mind. So let's take an example. When there was an argument between Raju Rastogi and Farhan, Farhan says, Ab to argument mein maa ki saari laega, to argument kaise hoga? So all these, they cannot be actually, there is no one black or white. They are subjective in nature. They are gray areas. They are basically depending on one person to other. All the fight in this world is because of varying perception. So some people may have some value. Some people may have some other value. So this is these values, these preferences, we understand when we actually study ethics. So ethics is a very beautiful subject which helps you understand how one perception is different from the other perception and which of the perception is better suited in a situation. How do we appreciate the other's viewpoint? This is what you study in ethics. So to understand the ethics in a better manner, you need to understand few key terms like belief. What do we mean by belief? Because it is the belief system which actually governs our action. It is the belief system which makes us what we are. So belief kya hai? Belief is basically dharna. An idea that an individual or organization holds to be true, even if the idea is rational or not in reality. So it is just an idea which an individual holds as true, which might not be true, which might not be rational in reality. Let's take an example. An example like many people, they consider 13 number as an unlucky number. Generally, they say unlucky 13. This is a belief. This might not be rational in real sense, but this is just a belief. Uh, taking a cue from this, we do not have the rocket by the name PSLV C13. So our scientific, many scientific organizations, they also carry certain belief which might be rational or not. Then, out of these beliefs, certain beliefs, these are basically the core belief. So there can be not many beliefs, which might be non-core beliefs, and two or three core beliefs. So when we say core belief, that means they are deep truths, they are deep facts, which we consider them as truth. And then they become the basis for the other thoughts. Let's take an example. So for an individual, A, he might have, a, he or she might have a belief of competence. He might believe in hard work, that hard work pays off. So this is the core belief that an individual can hold. And all of the actions might be governed by these core belief. So when this core belief gets further attached by the emotions, so the person who believes in hard work, gets recognition in school or gets reward in school because of hard work. So in this core belief, certain emotions are attached. These then become the basis of values. Like so, a person who actually believes in hard work has got recognition in the school because of hard work might then develop values like dedication to duty and efficiency. So now what do we mean by value? So value basically kya hote hai? Value means mulya. Jo mulya hum, hum leke chalte hai. Like, bohat sari belief mein se, which I hold to be preference. That, I, that is the preference that is hold by me as an individual. It is that idea 
which I, you or any individual would consider as important. And whenever we talk about these values, these values then become the basis, become the standard on the basis of which we consider whether a particular object or idea is desirable or not. So, ye mulya ke adhar pe, ye preference ke adhar pe, we decide whether any act, any idea is desirable or not. And the ye jo mulya hai, they then make our value system. Let's take an example. So, this is an individual A and this is an individual B. An individual A generally values things like job security, stability in life, punctuality. So these are the values, these are the preference that individual A has. The punctuality, the job security, the stability. As compared to the person B here, who has values like, who believe in uncertainty. He likes courage, he likes adventure, he likes independence. So he has a different values, different preferences, compared to A. And the importance of this value is, these value actually help in deciding our attitude. They actually determine, our ravaiya hota hai, wo in values pe, wo in mulyo ke upar dependent hota hai. So what do we mean by attitude? What do we mean by ravaiya? It basically means a tendency to act to, in a particular manner. So the approach that we follow, the approach that we have to, be, to behave in a particular manner. And this attitude basically reflects our value system. So continuing the same example here. So a person A who actually believes in job security, stability, punctuality, he would have a tendency to join a particular job or a service. Whereas an individual B who believes in uncertainty, adventure, courage, he has a tendency to actually create a business of his own. So these values actually determine our attitude. How do we behave or we tend to behave in a particular manner? And then what is behavior? Behavior yani vyavhar. Okay, so hamare mulya will determine our ravaya and then this ravaya will be reflected in our behavior or vyavhar. So when this, in a particular condition, this attitude is coming forth in front of every people, then we call it as behavior. Behavior basically is a response that any individual exhibits. It is nothing but an attitude in action. So when an attitude comes in action in a particular situation, we call it as behavior. Let's take an example from three idiot. So here, there is an argument that is going on between uh, the actor and the actress about this person, Suhas. The actor says that life is just a profit and loss statement for Suhas. And so he is talking about his attitude. His attitude that life is just a profit and a loss statement. And whenever situation comes, what is the behavior of Suhas? If in a situation he says like, Meri de laki sherwani. This is the behavior that he has that is exhibited. The attitude when it comes into action becomes behavior. Now what is ethics and how are these things related to ethics? So if we talk about ethics, ethics basically it is a field of study which helps us determine whether a particular act is right or wrong. So some values, they actually help in judgment of these acts is right or incorrect. So this ethics, whether a thing is right or wrong depends on some values like honesty, fairness, these values which actually tell whether an individual who behave in a particular manner was, was correct or incorrect. So if an individual who did not follow honesty would have not behaved in an ethically correct manner. So what is the relation between ethics and morality. Both the ethics and reality, they are basically standards which help in determining whether an act is right or wrong. So if both they help in determining whether what is right or wrong, so what is the difference between them? Basically, 
ethics operate at the level of society whereas morality operates at an individual level so as an individual we have certain morals okay the one which we use in telling whether an act is right or wrong and when we talk about ethics they actually come at the level of society so example like punctuality punctuality is being followed across japanese culture so that has become the ethics of the nation whereas in india we believe in justice okay so the justice as a value is believed by almost entire indians therefore this has become the ethics of our country whereas an individual we might believe in honesty compassion and therefore this becomes individual moral now understanding the relationship between the ethics and morality we can say that ethics is nothing but the morality at the level of society so ethics is societal morality whereas morality is nothing but individual ethics the values that an individual hold so morality is individual ethics usually both they actually go hand in hand because an individual is a product of the society so the the morality that an individual follow is because of the society ethics that he or she has imbibed during socialization process however there are few times where the ethics and morality might not go hand in hand like in the case of abortion so a person might not believe in abortion but at the societal level it might be continuing as a practice so here the individual morality is coming in conflict with the societal values or societal ethics the same is goes with sati so raja ram mohan roy he did not believe his morals did not believe in the practice of sati however it was prevalent during the ancient india so at the level of society it was ethical but raja ram mohan ji did not believe in the practice his morals did not believe in sati the same goes with homosexuality many individual they believe that homosexuality is not incorrect whereas society has not yet accepted it the same goes for intercaste marriages interreligious marriages so we come to know varied perception in ethics we actually tend to appreciate the other's perspective in a better manner so this is about ethics if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon please do it right now please study hard this is the right time for you to study time is an illusion so therefore there is only the now so do it now signing off bye bye thank you